Grand Rising YouTube. At least I still think it's morning time. I'm not sure. I think it was like 11 something the last time I looked at the clock. 11.40 something. But anyway, I am here to do December readings for the collective. I'm currently on the sign of Virgo. So let's get to it. Divine forces of unconditional love is the highest microcosm. What does the sign of Virgo need to know for the highest good in the month of December? What does we're going to know for the highest good in the month of December. Two more. This is kind of first one. to know for the highest good. Luck is on your side, Virgo. You are very close to achieving your goal. A new start is coming. Emotions are running high. Bottom of the deck, surrender to the divine. All right. Um, and then I do have my divine guidance cards here. So it'll help you in how to surrender to the divine. But I do see Ten of Cups here, Temperance. Surrender to the divine. Temperance is divine, in my my opinion. Spirit working on your behalf to put whip up the perfect potion for you to overcome or to achieve whatever it is that you want. And then we have the ten of cups. So, yeah, divine is working up the perfect potion to get you out of a state of depression, perhaps, or feeling like you're rejected. Surrender to the divine. Luck is on your side. You are very close at achieving your goal. At, of a new start emotions are running high you may be nervous you may not know what to expect with this new change that is coming that you feel is coming but get control here with the emperor card emperor, emperor card again get control you know or maybe release control that's what that was saying because we have the, the emperor with the uh, moon card you know, there's some, still some things being revealed, so you can't have full control over things if you don't know what all the aspects of it is. Got the Seven of Wands card with the Moon card. Luck is on your side with the Nine of Pentacles and the Star, okay? So, Virgo, it seems like in the month of December, you're going to really be coming into yourself, into your being, and into your power. With the eight, and then the Eight of Wands, and download is coming in from spirit. You know, says so surrender to the divine. So you are very close to achieving your goal. Magician. <laughs> Magician card, you're very close to achieving your goal. Luck is on your side. So, it's all about your intentions now. Uh, and the ten of pentacles two of cups it's all about your intentions virgo you're very close to achieving your goal you're very close to manifesting your ten of pentacles and the relationships that you want and you know mending those relationships or the family relation important relationships and and building those you have a new start coming in that in those areas wow what what better new start is there than the world card you know you've learned your lesson you fully transformed from this warrior state you know here with the death card transformation transitioning from this warrior state you don't want to be here anymore you've been there for a long time it's time to come out of that energy of feeling like you always have to fight of closing yourself off it might be, it might be because we have the four pinnacles. It may be very scary to live in this new way and to just have faith to share more of yourself, the real you, and not holding back, holding back your emotions anymore. This is a new start for you in December. To just be you completely you know having full control over your emotions wow with the queen of pentacles here bottom of the deck six of swords moving on to calmer waters so 
Wow, beautiful energy. Surrender to the divine. So we got the Queen of Pentacles here, which could be your energy, uh, Virgo. You again coming into yourself. You began the really the uh, the reading with the Nine of Pentacles, which is self awareness, self mastery, and then you end it with the Queen of Pentacles. Your energy is at, at its highest, you know, in the uh, royal suit anyway. With the Queen of Pentacles, abundance, enlightenment, coins, beauty luxury purity clarity growth and expansion let's get some divine guidance for you wow i think we just got that card with someone else but i'm gonna get pull out my trusty friend here anubis so he can hold up this card so that you guys can meditate on it as i read its message alignment beautiful it says this is the beginning of a very powerful shift both spiritually and energetically this is a complete connection and alignment of your higher self and physical self i think leo had the same card sometimes this alignment can cause chaos and confusion but there is no need to worry or feel alarmed because what surrender to the divine luck is on your side no need to feel alarmed with what is happening in your life right now everything is moving into perfect order as your spiritual and physical selves align into perfect balance once complete your daily life will be more in harmony with your spiritual path beautiful and then we have six here advancements let me switch your card, Anubis. Thank you. You're so awesome. Um, it says, this is a time of change for you in the physical realm, and it may involve some big decisions. Whether it pertains to changing jobs, making a career choice, beginning or ending a, rela a relationship, or moving to a new home, you have some choices you need to make. Trust yourself to make the right choice. Your guides are working with you to help you gain clarity and move forward in your life. Stay true to yourself and follow your heart's calling. These changes are definitely for the better, both physically and spiritually. Both cards talk about you growing physically and spiritually in the month of December, Virgo. Congratulations to you and the work that you're going to do and the work that you're doing. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, I feel. So, uh, let's get a surrender card for you. What is it that you need to surrender in the month of December, perhaps? Fear of intimacy. I did see that. It's on the bottom, still on the bottom of the deck. Surrender stress. Um, do we have the King of Cups here? So, the King of Cups can denote uh, alcohol. Or a drinking problem. But, you know, we're ending that, right? We're ending any negative uh, hang-ups and emotions and, and things that is not for our highest good. Because you're elevating. Wow. Spiritually, surrender to prayer. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to passion. It says, surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe. And answers and, answers and support will arrive. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly, Virgo. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Don't waste your time in relationships with people who are not loyal to you. And to, in relationships with people who do not ignite your passion and let it flow. Who do not support you in your dreams. Listen, surrender to the wisdom of your body when it comes to those people and those relationships. And you having to make a choice as to who it is you want to add to your life or keep in your life or take away or whatever. This is how you do that. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious of that person when you think about them. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. Let me read the whole thing. 
If you feel drained, uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. That's your gauge. And it's time for you to move on to calmer waters. And in doing that, you have to take, you have to be decisive. There's no, no more time for you to be in a stillmate and be indecisive about, you know, a healthy sense of selfishness. That's what the five of the five of swords is a healthy selfishness can be. It can be mind games. You want to get rid of those people that are playing mind games and stuff so that you can come out of this energy of being depressed and you know feeling like, oh woe is me. It's time for you to follow your intuition. And exact justice on those who are no longer, you know, no longer for your highest good, take that leap of faith as you will be victorious in receiving balance and bringing in people into your life that is going to be, um, that's going to provide you with the equal give and take, not someone that's always take, take, taking from you. Surrender your attachments to results. It says the formula for success, for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desire, to a desired outcome can sabotage it. All right, Virgo, that was your reading for the month of December. Hope that helped you in some kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. And I will see you next time. Peace.